Hey guys, it's Koi from Gent Within, and this video is a review and try on haul of the work leisure brand Ministry of Supply. Let's get started. Ministry of Supply is engineered for comfort. They say that it is scientifically better clothing. With temperature regulation, odor control, and climate neutral certification, innovation is the name of the game with this brand. MOS specializes in work leisure clothing, which is essentially smart casual, focusing on professional yet comfortable styles highly appropriate considering a pandemic has kept us mostly homebound for what seems like ages. Unsurprisingly, since I started this review several months ago, they've updated and redesigned several of their staple pieces in their collection. Talk about making swift moves. In this Ministry of Supply review and try on haul, we're going to take a look at six flagship pieces from their collection, namely the Apollo Polo, Aero Zero Dress Shirt, Kinetic Pants, Responsive Tee, Chroma Denim Pants, Active Tee, and a bonus, the 3D Print Knit Face Mask. Now let's get into it. If there's a garment that embodies the work leisure aesthetic that Ministry of Supply seems to be all about these days, it's the Kinetic Pant. It surprised me slightly that they designed a brand new Kinetic Tapered Pant, but then again, they're all about improving and adapting, and so I guess it's not all that surprising. Anyway, a few quality pairs of chinos and performance pants is a must in all men's closets, and so the MOS Kinetic Pant is like a hybrid of the two, bringing the best of both worlds together. The pants really do have an incredible stretch, and is quite soft too. There's somewhat of a sheen to the fabric that can be seen at certain angles and lighting. The fabric material feels similar to pairs of performance pants that I have from other brands such as Under 510 and Public Rec. I think the kinetic pant effortlessly combines formal and casual elements making it appropriate to wear at work with a blazer or at the gym with the performance tee. You'll notice that there's these small rubber dot details along the inside of the waistband that's going to help keep your shirt tails tucked and gripped to the rubber, allowing for your shirts to stay it tucked. The new generation tapered pants actually have these drawstrings that you can use in place of a belt and so you have the option to either tie them up or belt it up. As for how the pants fit, I'd say they fit as well as any of my best pairs of performance pants in my wardrobe. It's got a slim tapered fit that's pretty well fitted at the waist and it's flattering for my backside and from the thighs all the way down through the legs. I'd have no problem wearing these pants to the gym or just doing a quick burst to work out as the fabric's moisture wicking properties and solid stretch is going to keep me comfortable and cool throughout. I'd say the pants have a low to a mid rise which is what you'll normally see from these hybrid formal casual trousers like these and as for the length of the inseam this pair is 30 inches which is an inch or so too long for me and so I've got to cuff them up and it's worth noting that they do offer as low as 29 inch inseams with 28 waist pants Next up, we've got the Active Tee, and it is true to its name, you'll want to wear this shirt for when you are most active. It's currently among Ministry of Supply's best-selling pieces. The Active Tee boasts a sustainable, soft, and breathable tri-blend fabric. So I'm not gonna lie, the Composite Merino Active Tee is one of my favorite pieces from the MOS collection of work leisure clothing. From the shirt's construction and design to the casual cool athletic cut, it really does combine a form and function that's suitable for the gym or anywhere around town. The shirt feels a little bit more substantial in hand than the responsive tee, which I'm gonna be also talking about later on in this review. The 82% recycled polyester, 14% merino wool, and 4% elastane build feels incredibly soft to the touch with an incredible stretch beyond that of the responsive tee's 2% stretch. The 14% merino wool is visible up close as you can actually see the woolen fibers. This wool blend gives the shirt a bit more of a t-shirt sweater softness and feeling and less of a lycra feeling. You'll notice the V-cut bottom hem detail and how much stretch the shirt actually has. It's kind of like the stretch armstrong of workout shirts. Overall, it feels great on my body, but how does it fit? I've got to say the fit is on point. Not only does it feel great to wear, but it looks pretty great too. The clean drape and flowy appearance actually reminds me of Tanny's silk cut shirt, and they recommend to size up for a looser fit, but I don't think that's necessary. I went with my usual extra small with this shirt, and it seamlessly hugs my body while still having a clean drape, allowing room to breathe. And so I'd recommend to go with your normal size unless you really want a relaxed fit, then you can size up. 
The shirt drapes cleanly on my body, the sleeves wrap comfortably around my bicep, and the athletic inspired raglan sleeves accentuates my broader shoulders. The shirt's length is also pretty on point, hitting about mid-fly mid-butt around the back, and the sleeve hits at mid-bicep, and doesn't scrunch up into my armpits as I move either, which is a big plus. Overall, the Active Tee is an ideal workout shirt that's become one of my go-tos when I'm engaging in cardio and calisthenic exercises. What I like the most about it is that it manages to look great all the while providing ease and range of motion and effortlessly flowing drape. And now we've got the polo shirt. It is a timeless garment that deserves a spot in every stylish man's closet. And so Ministry of Supply actually puts a spin on this everyday classic. According to them, this polo has NASA grade temperature regulation and is 19 times more breathable than standard cotton PK knit. And in addition to breathability and temperature regulation, the polo is also wrinkle resistant and is a little bit more elevated than your standard polo. And so as for the feeling of the shirt, it's made with that breathable sweat wicking PK knit that helps to keep you cool when it's hot. And I got the brushed variant of the shirt, which has a little bit of a softer feel than the recycled version. It's got a 57% polyester and 43% PCM infused polyester build, which PCM is face change materials, it's a textile that absorbs excess body heat when too much is created, it's very technical stuff. But anyway, all you need to know is that it's made with a really breathable type of fabric. The shirt also features a soft yet firm collar, and while I personally like the clean structure that the shirt stays give the collar, however they're not removable and so I'm afraid that they might warp in the wash so that's something that i might have to look out for now in terms of the polos fit the shirt wears quite nicely on my 5'6 130 frame there's a clean drape it's not too tight or too loose and the sleeves are ribbed at the end and so it hugs and wraps around my bicep pretty snug albeit a little bit on the shorter side i'd prefer if the sleeve was about a half an inch longer to hit around mid bicep additionally the shirt length is nearly spot on i'd say it runs about a centimeter too long but I do like that it has a more modern straight bottom hem as opposed to the classic polo where the back vent is longer than the front and so this makes the Apollo polo perfect to be worn untucked. Overall the Apollo polo is a relatively slim fitting and it looks fantastic on guys with a slightly muscular build and they also recommend to size up if you are between sizes. On to the Ministry of Supply chroma denim pants. And so a few great pairs of jeans should be a style stalwart in every man's wardrobe. Trusty denim pants are meant to get us through the days casually cool and comfortably. MOS's chroma denim pant is out to do just that. The indigo wash has a traditional rich dark color that you'd expect from a pair of indigo wash jeans. They use an innovative reaction dye that uses half of the water of traditional dyeing methods to create these vibrant tones that's meant to last through countless of washes. And so if we're talking sustainability, these jeans keep that in mind. As for the feeling of the jeans, it's got a pretty standard 2% elastane stretch which feels comfortable on the first wear. And while there's adequate stretch to the jeans, the fabric still has plenty of give and it always retains its shape after wearing for long periods of time. Just for fun, I wore them for several days straight and the jeans never got stretched crazy out of shape. The fabric is about a mid-weight it's equal to some of my favorite jeans from American Eagle, Levi's, and Everlane. They're not quite as dense as a pair of Mountain Bow or unbranded UB201 jeans that were featured in a previous video though. On the plus side, these jeans are not only stretchy through the thighs and legs, but there's ample stretch in the waist area, which is always a bonus. Your movements aren't going to be hindered when wearing these pants. You can also notice the jeans stitching. It's subtle and blends with the indigo wash as opposed to a contrasting golden stitch that you see on many other popular jean styles. It's not a good or bad thing, but it's a detail worth noting since some men prefer the subtlety of a non-contrasting stitch. In terms of the jeans fit, I'd say they fit me quite well. It's on par with some of the better fitting jeans in my closet. Not only do they fit well, but they're equally as comfortable too. It's got a standard mid-rise with a zip fly and button closure. As for the length, the inseam of this pair is 30 inches, which is a few inches longer than my usual 27, 28 inch inseam. And so you're gonna see me cuffing these ones up as well. The good news is that they now carry 28, 28, which would make for an even better fit. The slim fit is true to form and it fits like a slim should. The taper towards the ankle is generous and flattering, leading to an overall solid fit. These are great everyday jeans that you can literally wear five days a week if you wanted to. Not that I'd encourage it. 
And now on to the Arrow Zero dress shirt, which is another one of Ministry of Supply's best sellers. It's got some of the sweetest stretch yet and is wrinkle free and happens to be made with 100% recycled materials. So the classic dress shirt is a closet staple for many men in both business casual and more formal settings. Ministry of Supply's Aero Zero carbon neutral dress shirt, quite a mouthful, is cut from a different cloth figuratively and literally. It's highlighted by its carbon neutral properties and is 100% recycled and milled under solar power. Talking about sustainability again. So how does the shirt feel? So the Aero Zero shirt comes in at a price that you can find many made to measure shirts. It's an ideal work leisure garment balancing casual and formal features. The first thing you might notice about the shirt is its softness and undeniable stretch. It's got a four way stretch that really has to be felt for yourself. It's pretty comfortable as I move actively throughout my day crossing my arms. It's almost as if I could run a marathon in this shirt. Oh wait I think someone else already did that. So the Arrow Zero shirt also drapes pretty cleanly. It's almost like a silk fabric and there is a very slight sheen to the shirt that you can see at various angles under the light. The collar is soft yet firm and it's got built-in collar stays again just like the polo. While I do like the clean structure that the shirt stays gives the collar, I'd prefer them to be removable. So the first thing you'll notice about the fit of the Aero Zero dress shirt is that the length is way too long on my frame. I definitely won't be wearing this one untucked anytime soon. The good thing is that this shirt is dressier than a typical Oxford shirt and so it's better suited to be worn tucked in anyways. I've since ran it through a few washes and a dry cycle and the shirt did shrink a little bit and so that's definitely helpful. Other than the lengthy shirt and the sleeves, overall the fit is solid after properly tucking in your shirt. It's slim fitting, creating a clean silhouette. The collar remains comfortable around my neck even when I button it all the way up and the shoulder slope is just right for my frame. Now on to Ministry of Supplies responsive tee. So if you like clothing with a bit more of a muscle fit with a fabric closer fitting to your body, then the responsive tee is for you. They carry a crew neck and a v-neck version with the v-neck being ideal to wear as an undershirt under your dress shirts. It comes in two essential colors of black and white. And as I said before, this current fit is an ideal undershirt for me. But if I size up one size, then I could probably wear it as a t-shirt. So how does the shirt feel? So believe it or not, the MOS responsive tee is made with coffee infused recycled polyester yarn which is meant to absorb odors. The shirt is also meant to be responsive, hence the name, to your body's movements and dry twice as fast as cotton. The fabric feels really soft to the touch and it's just as lightweight as some of my other undershirts. It certainly has a premium feel to it and a slight shine. I tested it and there's no need to worry about baking collar or shrinking in the wash either. Recycled polyester is made to pull excess heat and moisture, transferring it away from your body to keep you dry when those workouts are getting intense or if you just tend to sweat a lot. The shirt also has a considerable stretch though not quite as much as the active tee but it does retain its shape and so you're not going to have to worry about this shirt getting all warped in the wash. I've had some shirts in the past that were pretty unwearable after getting out of the wash because of how warped it got. In terms of the fit, the responsive tee is quite snug on my body around the chest, biceps, and midsection. Definitely rocking it like a muscle fit here. The sleeves hug my bicep nicely. They're an appropriate length and slightly above mid bicep. The shirt's shoulder area isn't bunching up and it extends right out to my shoulder bone. And as for the shirt's length, I'd say it's just right, short enough to be worn untucked and just long enough to be tucked in as an undershirt should be. Overall, the responsive tee is made for performance. It's slim fitting and it looks great on guys with a sturdier build. And again, size up if you wanna rock this shirt as a tee. And last but certainly not least, we've got the 3D print knit mask. So who would have thought that several years later we'd still have to be prepped for a pandemic? Ministry of Supply comes in clutch with a tech design mask that's as effective as it is wearable. So the MOS 3D print knit mask 2.0, as the name suggests, is a 3D printed mask with moisture wicking yarn. So let's face it, most masks are a pain in the butt to wear, but thankfully this one isn't most masks. It's designed with smooth ear loops that aren't going to irritate the back of your ears after wearing them for a while. And it also features an adjustable nose bridge, much like those disposable medical masks. I personally think the MOS masks are well designed. It's ergonomically cut in the form of an actual human face, and so it's not just a piece of cloth covering 
like a lot of other masks seem to be. Additionally, they come in three different sizes of small, standard, and large to fit a wider range of face shapes, which is always nice. And another thing that sets this mask apart is that there's this slot on the inside where you can place Nelson lab rated filters to help provide additional protection. It's not quite N95 respirator level of protection, but still got protection nonetheless, which is more than a normal run of the mill cloth face mask can say. So all in all, this is a solid mask and unfortunately, while we still have to wear masks, it's good to know that we have some good options out there. So in the end, is Ministry of Supply worth it? As it currently stands, Ministry of Supply is tailor-made for a post-pandemic world. Their elevated performance wear is surprisingly on trend and adaptable in a world where comfort reigns supreme without sacrificing style. I'm completely on board with their mission of creating better clothing through science, while doing so in a pretty sustainable way. It's looking like Ministry of Supply scores a bottom of the ninth home run. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and lightly tap that like button. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. Got another one for you right here and right here. So go and check one of those out and cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.